when we're talking about what future technology will look like, it's always a bit uncertain. But one image that seems to make sense is that nanotechnology, molecular manufacturing, will be a kitchen appliance. It will be a box that you put in your kitchen, and when you want to build something, there's a, a menu, there's perhaps a control panel on the front, and you say, I want item number 47, and item number 47 is a toaster. So you press the control buttons, you pour in the equivalent of toner, molecular feedstock, so these devices can have something to work with, and this box goes to work, and you come back an hour or two later, and there's your toaster. Or a chair. Or another box. We're looking at a transformation that's going to have as big an impact as the Industrial Revolution, if not more. We'll be able to build products. All the products that we see in the world around us with molecular precision, with lower cost, greater strength, less pollution. It's a revolution in manufacturing and we see it coming in a few decades. We're going to see technology transform our lives in ways that we can scarcely understand right now but in ways I think that will improve the human condition, that will benefit all of us.